Hi everyone, I'm Frank Malicote. I'm a news anchor reporter for KTVU Fox 2 here in the San Francisco Bay Area. My guest is a musician and a songwriter who's part of songglorious.com. It's a, a new way to customize a song tailor fit for your needs, say an anniversary or a wedding, you name it, they can do it. Uh, let's say hi to musician uh, Ethan Porter out of San Francisco. Ethan, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you doing? I'm well, I'm well. Well, give us a little bit uh, of information on your background and then we'll jump into Song Glorious. Uh, I'm a born and raised in San Francisco and spent the last six years or so in Reno and then had to end up coming back here just once the whole virus and pandemic on ended up popping off, but finally happy to be back in the Bay and uh, making music again. It's been a yeah. blast. And what do you play? What's your instrument? I play piano, guitar, and some vocals. All right. And you're a songwriter and you stumbled on Song Glorious. Tell us about that. Yeah, they, I found them on Instagram and it was sounded like a great opportunity for me. They're making a way for artists who obviously are struggling in this time to still be able to make music and also connect with people, which has been the biggest thing for me, honestly, just because I do miss playing shows. But the biggest reason for that, I feel, is that you get to have your art and connect with somebody else and just in our current state, it's been hard to have that emotional connection. So whenever you have something like this, that really they ask you and they give you their whole story about what they need, you can really tailor fit that song to them so that you can still have that connection in a way. So COVID-19 really kind of shut down your gigs. So to yeah, speak, definitely. Right? Yeah. Uh, well, give us an idea. Song Glorious, you're at home. They contact you and say, we've got this couple. It's their anniversary. And how, do, how does the process begin? Um, basically, yeah, we get a lot of ones that are for anniversaries, but you could have an idea that you want a song for anything. Let's say you want to celebrate your dog's birthday or something. So you put in that request that you want the song and you give us the details about it. Um, you, want, you say the genre that you want it to be in and the length. And then it goes into a pool, basically where a panel of musicians can see, see the idea that you want the song about and what the genre is. And they say, hey, I think I can make a great, song for a dog's birthday let me take a crack at it and then yeah that gets basically tailor made to your needs and then it gets sent right back to you in about four days so say my mom is turning 90 she's mm -hmm. a olympian knitter she's got a poodle named frosty and she's six foot one inches tall and i want to i want a happy birthday gig for her you'll take all that and put a song with some of that information together right oh yeah exactly so basically you say the as many details as you want that you want in there and then i think they have four things that you like will require that you need to be in the song and then we take that and run with it oh my goodness have you had some strange requests uh personally i haven't had anything too outlandish yet um but i know there was one that was made just for someone they wanted a song for their dog so that was they can be as wild and wonky as you want but um i definitely have had some for anniversaries uh some that have been like for the love has been lost and they want to refine it. So you, things get really emotional, but they can also be really silly. And that's the beauty of it. And is there collaboration between you and the, and the person that wants the song or do they, you get the information and deliver the song? I mean, the, the collaboration basically is just the idea that they give us. They can right. give us as many, they can be vague about it or be as detailed and oriented as they want to. And then, yeah, we just, we just run with it and hope that they enjoy it. Um, and yeah, that's, I would say that's the collaboration on that end. And how much, I mean, how much fun is that for you being an artist and, you know, it's almost like you get all these pieces of a puzzle and you go, I can do that. You know? Exactly. Honestly. And with, with songwriting, the hardest part is just coming up with ideas. And I mean, I've only have so many personal experiences that I can write about about myself. But when you have these like manuscripts of people's lives that come in, you, you can really take it from a different perspective and go with it from there. Yeah, and you turn these around in what, three or four days? I think four days is, yeah, what, how fast you'll get it back. So Is, it, is that a little stressful? I, I mean, sometimes it takes, uh, I, I've heard Paul McCartney say, yeah, I was sitting in a bar with a, with a cocktail napkin and wrote, let it be, you know, in 20 minutes. <laughs> exactly. Or it might take you, uh, you know, a month. Yeah, I mean, it's, one of, again, the hardest things about writing music is just being able to finish something. So this gives you a deadline that you have to finish it. And I think that's a good thing. It gives you structure 
to where you can't just let an idea float around for two to three months before actually deciding that, hey, I want to get this thing finished. And now it's like, hey, I got four days. I have to finish this. And then you end up actually having a finished product. And that's, it's a fun thing to see as a musician. And do you get any feedback from uh, those that you've already uh, sent songs to? Or oh, yeah. They write reviews about it. And there's people that have been moved to tears and stuff like that, where they really express how much that meant to them to get that song. And uh, well, what's it mean for you? You must enjoy the process. Oh, definitely. It's, again, not being able to play shows. It's, you don't really get to see that immediate crowd reaction of the, your art moving them but in this way you can and it's also different just if you release a song online you get yeah people are listening to it and they might say that they enjoyed it but this you know that this is someone's life that they're basically lending to you to write some music about and that so whenever you give them that piece of art back to them that it truly has an impact on their life and i think that's the beauty of it and do some of these tunes that you've written uh, i mean could they go further wow that's pretty good uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe this might go commercial or something I mean, you, you never know. And then uh, again, with Song Glorious, the artist does keep the rights to the song. So where that if they end up writing the next Let It Be or something like that, you can you could still keep that and work with it more if you wanted to. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's it cost uh, if I want to, uh, you know, my anniversary is coming up and I want a song written about that? Um, it, it definitely varies. I believe the the base price is around $60. It depends all on the length that you want it to, because you can get just a 30 second jingle written real quick for you, or you can get a whole three minute song. And then there are add-ons after that. Like, let's say you want it to be specifically a male singer or a female singer, um, or you want certain instruments, or if you just wanted it acoustic. So there's definitely a lot of fluctuation if you want it to just be the best bang for your buck, or if you want to really go all out and have your custom tailor-made song so really sixty dollars is more of a more of a jingle kind of thing, but if you're doing a uh, a longer song, it could cost a couple, two or three, four hundred dollars. I think. <sighs> Not exactly positive myself right. on the specifics of the pricing, but you could also pay more if you wanted it to be so that you can use it for your own commercial use. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot a lot worked into the pricing of it. Yeah, and uh, you you're fairly new to it, so you've only been there what two or three weeks. What? What have you written about? What are you, what are your songs? So uh, yeah, I've only been here two weeks. I had one song that was about their, it was an engagement or an anniversary song. And uh, yeah, they gave me their entire story of their relationship essentially. And it, it was really emotional, almost got me feeling real sad and sappy, but it ended up writing a great song for them that I hope they enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, had another one that was like a, a love that was now lost type of song. Um, and so, yeah, it's literally like you get these people's lives and you just write a song and work with it. And it, you, it was great. You probably feel like, you know, them, right. After you. Exactly. Them. Exactly. I want to follow up with them and see how, how life is going for them. But honestly, the, as many connections as you can make doing music, that's what I feel is, is a great thing. Well, uh, can you perform for us? Do you have a guitar or a piano close by? Yeah, I got a, I got a guitar. I could, uh, you just happen to have yeah, a guitar. I <laughs> hey, I got a, I got a whole studio set up a little bit I can but. Tell. uh well uh, tell us what you're gonna play and, and let it rip i i don't exactly have something prepared but i could just kind of go with it and see see what we can do okay uh well do you need uh, are you gonna make one up as we go here or, or is this something you've already done ah uh, it's a little bit of both i had i was able to get a little chord progression going but okay yeah right. nothing that's gonna uh blow the minds i don't think but yeah we'll see See what I can do for you. Okay, here you go. Um, uh, Nathan Porter, take it away. <laughs> I'm here with a jingle for the nose. Hope to make you smile in a year full of clothes. No fear, we can make it if we try. Listen to the music and maybe we can fly. You and I, if we try. Do, 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 do. So that was that was awesome. So you just kind of sit down, do a chord progression, and go, "Wow, well, that's that sounds pretty good." Basically, yeah, you just make some chords, and then the and then you of... grab some of uh, the parameters. You know, this is what we want, kind of squished into it. Kind of that kind of works, and uh, exactly, exactly. Before you know it, you've got a you've got a song. 
Yeah, yeah, that's about it. And then people, I mean, depending on the musician, some people write all the lyrics first and then set those words to music, or you can make all the music first and then kind of pick and find the lyrics within there. But I mean, either way, you end up at the same place. And can you make money doing this? I mean, can you make a living doing this or is this just kind of a side gig? Um, for me, it's just been slowly but surely a side gig, but I've been getting more and more involved into it. And honestly, the sky is the limit with it as much as you want to do it. As I've only been in here for two weeks, as I said, um, but I've seen the orders just ramping up slowly and slowly to where the point right. where I'm, yeah, it's been a, more like a part-time job for me just making these songs. And how do you qualify? Did you have to go through a process to be one of their uh, creators? Yeah, they have like a, a vetting process to see where you have to submit some of your own previous music and mm -hmm. show that you can record songs at a high level. Um, and then they will give you like a, a task to record a 30 second song specifically about this. And then just to show that you can be flexible and write about whatever the heck is asked of you to write about. Do you remember what song that was that you wrote? Uh, I think I had to write something about being a dog walker and taking dogs out on a walk. Oh, no way. Um, <laughs> exactly. So really wasn't something I'd ever written about before. So that was fun to, uh, fun to write about. And it's putting you to work. Uh, and obviously, with the pandemic, uh, a lot of musicians have been shut down. So uh, this has probably been a, a great source of not only fun, but some money as well. Exactly, exactly. And without, when you can't perform, usually that's how most musicians make their money. But it definitely gives a, an outlet to basically, as you said, do what you love and also get paid for it, which is a great thing. And do you see yourself sticking to it for a while? For the long Oh, yeah, I've, I've had a blast. And I've only been accepting more songs as they come in. So hopefully they keep on coming and I can keep cranking out some tunes. You've probably seen that show on television called Songland. I'm sure you have. Are you familiar I've, with that? I'm familiar with it, yes. They have like three producers, big big time producers, and they bring in three artists. They sing their songs. Gotcha. And yeah, they yeah. try to help them. Uh, it it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. But uh, yeah. Uh, but it's interesting that, you know, we'll give you the ingredients, you know, and they could be. <laughs> exactly incredibly odd and weird and then you got to put something together and uh, exactly sound great it's like um, solving a sudoku puzzle every time uh well tell us uh ethan if somebody wants to get in touch with you uh personally and mm -hmm. uh, through song glorious how do they do it um me personally i have just my own social media stuff but they can i'm sure they could reach out to song glorious if they wanted to reach out to the specific artist that wrote their song Mm -hmm. and they can make that connection happen yeah all right well uh hey we wish you all the best that's ethan porter with uh Sun i appreciate Lotus it in san francisco great stuff uh you want to take us out with a little tune um <laughs> well, let's see i'll try it um hmm. doing another jingle hope that you enjoy don't really want to mingle, but I see the day is done. <laughs> it works for me. All right. It works. Porter, Song Glorious. Thank you, sir, and all the best.